Wonder Hussy here in front of the late, great, Terribles Casino in Jean, Nevada. Okay, if you watched the video I made about Jean, well, you might remember this place used to be called the Gold Strike. In fact, many of you watching this probably know it as the Gold Strike. It was one of those hotels about eh, a half hour before you get to Vegas. You're driving from LA, you're coming down I-15. Inexplicably, about 30 minutes before you get into Vegas, there's this other hotel casino that you could stay at and gamble at, I guess if the prospect of the actual Vegas Strip freaks you out. Or maybe if you just really like giant, creepy, fake minor statues like they have out front in the parking lot. That's right, uh, the name Gold Strike, well, you can probably tell it has a mining tie-in. I think they did used to mine for gold up in the mountains here, just behind the little town of Jean. And so this hotel kind of had a gold mining theme. Now, unfortunately, the gold strike closed years ago, and then it became this Terribles Casino. Oh gosh, I don't know, five, 10 years ago. But now, even that is going out of business. That's right, the gold strike or Terribles or whatever you want to call it, is long shuttered. I'm not exactly sure how long it's been closed for. I wanna say it probably closed around the time of the coronavirus pandemic. And then, well, it just never reopened because like I said, you're only 30 minutes from Vegas. Why people used to stop here, I have no idea. Unless you're a big rig driver, you know, cause it's easy big rig parking out here. I really never was able to understand why anybody would wanna come stay or play way out here in the middle of nowhere. Now, you might be wondering, well then, gee, Wonder Hussy, what are you doing out there? Why are you out here playing in the middle of nowhere? Well, that's because I love abandoned stuff, and I love weird Nevada history, and I consider this to be a prime piece of weird Nevada history. And so, well, my friend Jessica told me she was out here uh, last week. In fact, after she finished shooting my calendar photos, on her way back, she stopped off here because she likes abandoned stuff too. And she told me they're actively demoing the casino right now. And so I thought it might be kind of interesting to go poke around now. I don't know how close I'm gonna be able to get, but I'd like to see what it looks like when they slowly pick apart an old casino. You know, when they demo the casinos in Vegas, they blow them up or they implode them in these massive pyrotechnic displays and people come out and stand on the street in the middle of the night to watch it go down and it's very exciting. Well, out here in Jean, <laughs> apparently it's not that exciting. They're just picking this old place apart the old fashioned way using cranes, bulldozers. I'm not sure what. Let's drive over there and see how close we can get to the action and see what's going on for ourselves. Hey, Jessica. Hi. Uh, are you ready to go check out the old, uh, go I still know it as the gold strike, but I guess it's terrible. It's gold strike for me too. Why do they always gotta take away all the old stuff? Well, that's okay. It'll always be the gold strike in our hearts. Okie dokie. We're here as close as we can get. Uh, they have the parking lot blocked off with cones because they don't want a bunch of nosy looky loos like me poking around. But well, where I drove, there's no no trespassing signs. And I'm going to be very mindful of not breaking any laws because it would be plum dumb of me to do so while broadcasting it on what's essentially international television. Now, You'll have to go back, or maybe I'll do a split screen and show you what this place looked like not that long ago. Uh, there was a whole fake Western town facade to make it look like it was a bunch of old timey buildings. In fact, they even had, I wanna say it was like the old, some little old alarm bell from Ely, Nevada, which is way up in Northern Nevada. Some historical old bell from Ely was hanging on the front. And I wonder what happened to that. There's the old fake Wells Fargo bank facade. And then over here you can see some real fancy wallpaper. There's some little playing cards just to remind you that it was a casino. Golly, I wonder what'll happen to this sign. Maybe it'll end up in the 
neon boneyard if you've ever been to the city of vegas they have this kind of cool museum where they keep all the old neon signs of all these old casinos that have been torn down you know like the stardust and the dunes and you know all those really cool classic hotels well i wouldn't be surprised if this thing up here ends up in there even though it's really a terrible name for a casino if you're not from around here you probably don't realize terribles is a chain of gas stations in vegas i think just vegas but i guess the they did well enough that they were able to buy the old gold truck probably for pennies on the dollar and gave it that rebranding that sign used to say gold strike and that made a lot more sense considering it kind of has that what do you call that uh you know like a fancy victorian age gambling hall well that sign looked a lot better when it said gold strike oh dear look it's one of the old bell carts <laughs> uh, i need help with my baggage ma'am wow that's uh, frankly, pretty grimly soiled. Oh, there's all kinds of crap out here. A housekeeping cart. Uh, oh, this is a housekeeping cart, right? Because they tie their, they put the bags all around the handles and then they keep all their supplies on the shelves. Oh my gosh. $20 tokens, but they're from New York, New York. What the heck? Golly, all this crap just like piled up here. By the way, we're just right off the freeway. Uh, yeah, there's another bell cart. Oh, is this the old Ely fire bell right here? Oh. Really? I don't know, man. It's a bet. It looks like it was a. Oh, maybe it's a light fixture. I don't know, man. That's classic Nevada for you. Never preserving anything. They just blow it up and throw it at the side of the freeway. Oh, look. Here's something you might need a lifetime supply of Zesta saltine crackers. That was this hotel uh, in a nutshell. Not the kind of place where you would ever get. What's the go to brand name for saltines? I just blanked out. Well, whatever, they didn't have those. They just have Zesta. It's an old spatula. Anybody need a spatula? I mean, I'm assuming this came from the hotel. I don't know, maybe some big rig driver that was driving down I-15 used this spatula to murder somebody and was throwing the evidence out the window and that's how it ended up here. Flung it out in a fit of rage. Yeah, it could be, or maybe, yeah, maybe some big rig driver was trying to, you know, whip up a cake to like bake on his engine, you know, he can do that. And the recipe wasn't going well. He got pissed off and threw it out the window. Who knows? It's just a theory. Yeah, let's poke around the perimeter more. I'm very curious to see what it looks like when a casino suffers a slow and painful death, as opposed to the quick mercy killings they usually give them with these implosions. Oh, look at that. Miss Olga's. I wonder what Miss Olga's was. <laughs> I mean, it kind of sounds like a brothel, but it was probably a steakhouse or the 24-hour coffee shop or you know these casinos all have the same every casino has like a steakhouse a 24-hour coffee shop a chinese place usually there's an italian place sometimes a mexican place i don't know though this this place as far as i can remember all it had was a denny's because i i guess i never really went to the gold strike in its prime i probably didn't come here until probably 2015 at the earliest so by then it was already eerily deserted in fact one of my very first youtube videos was me wandering around the eerily deserted gold strike when they had a collection of hollywood movie cars in the casino and then i think i went to denny's for dinner that night anyway wow yeah look at this this is wild i think i read that they're gonna bulldoze this place entirely and turn it into like an industrial park i think oh like here's the job sign or whatever you call that for the uh, construction company that's doing this project. It says, oh, it says Gold Strike Casino and Hotel Demo uh, is being conducted by Klaus Construction. Oh, that's nice. It's like Claus, like Santa Claus. It's a, uh, I'm filming this on December 17th. So it's like, Merry Christmas. Santa Claus is gonna come and tear down your old casino. Another thing that's interesting is uh, all these dumpsters that are piled up out here. If you look at the outside of the dumpster, it says Western elite on the side well if you've been a devoted watcher of my channel for some time you might remember gosh probably two two christmases ago jessica and i went up to this fake stonehenge in the desert i mean it's it's a long story it was a really weird place but it was basically the site of this western elite dump where a lot of i guess what they do is they take all the industrial waste from vegas the commercial and industrial waste and dump it in this giant landfill and they had this crazy stonehenge and park all around it well they get a lot of the old stuff from these old casinos and we even saw some old casino stuff when we were up there i guess all this junk 
that they're taking down here is going to go straight into that Western Elite landfill. How about that? I mean, who knows what's in these dumpsters right now? I bet there's all kinds. Oh, look, we could climb right up a ladder and go look for ourselves. I'll go up this one here. Oh, no. Well, Jessica pointed out that it smells like asbestos, so I really don't want to breathe too deeply because they probably did just rip out the ceilings and who knows how many years worth of mold and filth and grime. I mean, you can see there's fiberglass insulation over there, but look at that. It's like a bunch of old autumn leaves from some long forgotten fall color display. <laughs> you know how these casinos always try to decorate for the holidays. <laughs> oh wow, look, here's the attachments that they're using to bust up this old building. I mean that, we've all seen that bucket thing, this claw. Mattress. Yeah, with an old mattress attached to it. What is that? Just some, I mean, they must just have these crazy heavy attachments that they just used to bonk into the concrete like look at this thing it's all like pointed like it's used to gouge into the side and just pull this stuff apart i mean wow i think it'd be super fun you know they could actually probably raise a significant amount of money if they let people pay to come out here and bash apart this old casino i mean there's a place right down the highway a ways called dig this where you pay to rent heavy construction equipment and basically just move dirt around in a lot. Well, that sounded fun to me, kinda, but this would be way more fun. Oh my God, I would totally pay to be able to go bust up an old hotel. Look, there's the old hotel entrance. It's amazing that this building isn't full of unhoused people seeking shelter because, well, that's the absurdity of the part of the country we live in, there's plenty of folks that don't have places to stay, and then there's plenty of giant cavernous empty buildings full of empty beds. Uh, this place is so far outside town though, it'd be pretty tough for uh, homeless people to get out here and squat in here, but you know what, that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't, well there probably aren't any now that they're actively demoing it, but this place has been closed for, what did I say, like three years? I'll bet you anything there were people squatting in here. Look at this. Kloss Construction. Look at their logo. It's a wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Demolition specialist. Wow, what a line of work to go into. Sounds like you could really get out a lot of your aggressions in this line of work. And it's union. Gosh, I don't know why I find this so grimly fascinating. I've been to, I went to a couple implosions in Vegas when they blew up the Stardust. I watched that. When they blew up I think they blew up part of the desert in or something. I went to that. But I've never been up close and personal like this. Uh, it's really interesting. What is this? Is this like part of the casino that's getting I guess so, yeah. Trashed? Yeah, maybe that was on the roof or something. Oh, well, it could be repurposed as a jail. Let's go inside. <laughs> I think it was like a generator or something, maybe? Yeah, like that. Automatic battery charger. Wow, what? What am I standing inside? What is this? <laughs> the things you find out in the desert. Oh man, wow, wow, look at those windows. They all say, I don't know if you can see that, they're spray painted exit with an arrow pointing towards it, I guess so that, I mean, there must have been, I guess they sent guys up in there to like strip out, well, to take out the furniture. I don't know why the exits would need to be marked like that. That's like when you're in a mine. Oh, look. So the fence goes around the whole property. But there is a little opening right here. Oh my God, look, one of the, again, I haven't seen a single no trespassing sign, just for the record. Uh, I'm kind of curious to go at least poke my camera in the window of this creepy abandoned hotel. What do you guys think? Should I do it? I mean, the place is gonna get bulldozed anyways. Why not? Oh wow, it's just a bunch of old furniture piled up. Like all, it's a bunch of coffee tables from different hotel rooms. There's headboards from old beds, the chair. It's just, oh, there's a linen cart for housekeeping or the laundry. Oh man, and if you look all the way in the back, well, first of all, we have to move this awesomely patterned curtain out of the way. You can see right into the hallway of the hotel. Dang, it's very, very tempting, but I don't want to get arrested for trespassing. I'm not gonna do it. Look at these chairs. Oh my god, these are from like the buffet or something. Ugh. All right, let's look in this other. Yeah, because that's got the groovy wallpaper. Oh my god, yeah. The window's cracked open. Let's just peek in. If you stayed at the Gold Strike, if you ever stayed at the Gold Strike, 
you might remember. Wow, I do love that wallpaper. I mean, what's going to happen to all these mattresses? I guess they're just going to throw them all away. What a waste. Oh, it's interesting, too. There's like a really cold blast of air coming out of there. Like the whole building is freezing. Very eerie, very unsettling. It's in here, same thing. Uh, just another room. I think I can hear the chirping of a fire extinguisher that's the battery's running low. You know how when your fire extinguisher battery starts running low, it goes beep, beep, to remind you. I feel like I can hear probably a hundred different smoke alarm batteries going off. It's interesting because the only security they have on site here are these, I don't know what you call them. They're like fake police. They have a little flashing red and blue light at the top. So out of the corner of your eye, you see it and you think, oh, there's a cop, I better be good. But it's just a trailer. I've seen them parked in like Walmart parking lots and places that I guess they want people to think they're being policed. I mean, there are cameras up there. Uh, so my assumption is there's probably some security guard sitting in an office, I guess, somewhere in Vegas, monitoring these things. And right now they're probably getting ready to call the police on me for poking around. This property is being monitored by video surveillance 24 seven. <gasps> well, did you hear that? Apparently the guy sitting in the operations room did see me walking around. And I guess they can remotely activate this thing to sort of robo scold you and let you know that you're being monitored and don't try anything funny well don't worry robocop i am not trying to go in the building i'm just poking around the perimeter oh that was really creepy and big brotherly though wasn't it i mean a few years from now there's probably gonna be robots yelling at all of us all the time about everything Golly, this kind of reminds me of one of those Soviet era apartment blocks in like Chernobyl or something where everybody had to vacate. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see those pictures of the town of Pripyat where the Chernobyl power plant was and they had to evacuate everybody from that exclusion zone. And so there's a whole apartment building just left standing with the windows busted out like this. But in Chernobyl, nature has started taking back over because it's a different climate. So there's like moss and grasses and plants and stuff growing up all around the outside of the building out here in the desert at the side of i-15 things are a little different and zoom in on some some of these windows are totally busted out look at that and then they put like that two by four across the opening i guess to prevent guys who are working in there from falling out i mean that's just my guess gosh i keep hearing this smoke alarm chirps it's very eerie uh yeah i don't know i mean i guess when they demo a casino first they open it up to the public and you can go in and buy everything that's not nailed down and even some things that are nailed down you could probably even buy the old carpeting i'm not quite sure how that works so then once the vultures have stripped it i guess the next thing they do is put a fence around it and then they come in and start demoing it and so I mean, pulling out the chair. I mean, I don't know why they didn't sell all these chairs. It doesn't make sense to me. There used to, there used to be this place called Princess Liquidators in Vegas that you could go buy old hotel furniture. When I first moved to Vegas, I went and I bought an old desk from Caesar's Palace. It still had the Gideon's Bible in the drawer. Uh, I bought like a little chair, a bench, a bunch of stuff. You'd think they would do the same with these chairs instead of just leaving them laying out here. I mean, I guess they're all going to end up in that western elite landfill ain't that america something to see Ooh. speaking of something to see i climbed up here uh, i don't know what used to be on this weird little platform i think it was like where they kept propane bottles but look there's this mysterious golden chest what could be in that chest oh and hold on a minute what's next to the chest oh i got excited because i thought they were old slot machines it's old i guess those are just old televisions from the rooms but oh my god those are like really old tvs and they have very weird silver reflective screens those aren't normal tvs maybe that was from like the security system and then there's that chest oh man and look at this oh my gosh <laughs> above the tvs there's these net bags full of shriveled up old i don't know tangerines isn't that what that is why there are sacks of shriveled up old tangerines hanging here. Oh, this sack reminds me of another sack I saw one time. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Uh, anyway, let's see if we can get in here and open that gold chest because there's no, no trespassing sign on this thing. I mean, they don't want you to go in the hotel, but all this says is danger propane and there's no propane in there. So let's see. Ah, finally. I mean, first of all, these TVs, what the what? <laughs> Looks like I'm on TV now. I always wanted to be on TV. Hey, now we're all on TV. Hi, Mom! Uh, okay, well, before the RoboCop yells at me again, let's let's see what's inside this awesome golden chest. It has this amazing embossed pattern on it, these cool latches. What could it be? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's empty. But oh my gosh, this chest is so cool, and it's just going to get thrown away. What a waste. I mean, I'm very ethical, and I don't like to take things from the places I explore. But... It just seems stupid. Oh, well. It's not even that cool. It's, I think it was purchased at Ross or TJ Maxx. It says, compare at $50, our price, $29.99. Well, that's still kind of a cool case, but all right, I'll leave it here. I'll keep my unbroken track record of not stealing from these places. And I'll go right back out the gate I came in, and I'll even close it behind me. How about that? All right, well, since this place is locked up and there's no one here to get permission from to go inside, I guess that's pretty much all I can film here at the old Gold Strike Hotel. But gosh, anybody remember staying here? I never stayed here, but I visited a friend once who was staying here when I made that first video back in like 2014, 2015. And it seemed like a decent place. You know, yeah, it's kind of weird, like, why I stay here when you could just keep going and stay in Vegas, but it's probably way cheaper. It's easier parking. And maybe it was looser slots. You know, anybody, anybody ever win a big jackpot here? Let me know in the comments below if you ever stayed at the Gold Strike or Terribles and what it was like. You know, it's just kind of funny and even kind of bittersweet or sad to think about all the dramas that played out in these rooms over the years. You know, I'm sure couples got in terrible fights. Couples probably made passionate love. Babies were conceived. People probably committed suicide. Guys probably proposed to their girlfriends. Girls probably proposed to their girlfriends. Who knows what all went down in these rooms in the, I don't know when this place was opened, but probably at least since the 90s. Man, I kind of want to get robo scolded again so I can get another, get better audio of what it said. It was so creepy. But it doesn't seem like it cares anymore. Hello? Oh, what if I moon it? What do you think would happen if I mooned the security camera? Should I do it? Uh, I may be a hussy, but I'm not that kind of a hussy. Jessica, did you ever stay at the uh, Gold Strike? No. Did you ever go there? Um, just passing through on the way to Vegas. Yeah. As a kid. Oh, oh, you so you do have memories of it as a kid? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow. Well, hang on to your memories, everyone, because this place will be going down. Well, you were here last week and you said you talked to the workers. Yeah, they're just waiting for the permit for this building right here for the hotel part of it, and then they'll tear it down. They have that whole casino done within two weeks so they're in a hurry and will do you know if they'll will they use explosives no they're gonna just the old-fashioned uh, way the old-fashioned way wrecking <laughs> well ball. that's in keeping with the old gold strike old-timey western aesthetic yeah breaking things down the old-fashioned way so if you want to come say goodbye to the gold strike better do it by the new year because no telling how long it'll be here